Hi, today I'm going to talk about the new Area 48 LED light. Now this is a new kind of technology uh, which is remote phosphor which is very much brighter than conventional LED lights and is the first LED light that's powerful enough to actually bounce. This is only 25% luminosity um, and as you can see it runs off a single Anton Bauer battery although because of the high power draw um, we prefer it to go from to be powered uh, from block batteries which we can supply. So you can see this one includes a standard a soft box which comes off very very easily. Uh, you just pull it off here and then you've got a, a regular light. It also comes with a grid and a snap bag um, so you've got uh, all of the options. So you can adjust the uh, brightness uh, with a very simple control here and the entire device is powerable with a single Anton battery, Anton Bauer battery, which can slot in here, or you can use uh, the external 12 volt input from block batteries. So an exposure test with three common lamps will show that with the Area 48, we have 1200 lumens from six foot. And the standard LED light that people compare with is the one by one light panel. And as you can see, this is almost exactly half in fact, it's slightly lower at 560 lumen. The 800 watt redhead is the light that everybody compares with. This one, because a lot of people will want to use in daylight, has got blue gel in front of it and is fully flooded and is only 600, which is actually, interestingly, the same output as the one by one and exactly half that of the uh, area 48. If it was in spot, it is actually 1400 as I show now. So unlike traditional LED lights, which are either daylight only or daylight tungsten switchable or, or variable, these ones have uh, different phosphoric screens that you put over the front of the light and that changes the color temperature. I'll demonstrate that here. Okay, so I just uh, opened this and immediately the light is killed and you take out uh, the screen. You can see the little blue LEDs at the back. And what I'm gonna do is uh, slot the fresh one in Perfect. Make sure you press it because you need to press it for it to make contact and as soon as it recognises it, that it's there then the light will come into um, <coughs> life. So now you have dual colour temperature from either tungsten or uh, daylight depending on which phosphoric screen you use.